Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with Exo. And uh, today, today I thought we'd be casting a Terran versus Protoss. And as you can see, we're gonna have Huck in this game, spawning as the red Protoss in the top right corner, and we're gonna have Druby in the bottom left corner as the blue Terran. Now, most of you should know a few things about these players. Um, Huck, he's um, he's uh, I think ranked first he used to be I'm not sh I'm sure if he is anymore but he was ranked first on the North American ladder and he did win the um, <coughs> he won some tournament a while ago I'm not sure what it was I don't remember it was a pretty big tournament lots of good players there in North America and um, yeah uh, he's uh, I think one of the most solid Protoss players I've ever seen and I really enjoy watching his games as Protoss he's also quite um, um, and sometimes he does some funny stuff. He does uh, kooky things. Uh, usually he plays stable and he does a standard build. And uh, I mean, he plays a solid game. And he doesn't really mess around too much. But sometimes you see some really interesting stuff from him. Really original. And uh, it's nice to watch. And Druby, another very good player over here. Um, uh, you guys have probably seen lots of replays with uh, Druby if you're used to watching uh, casts or you just, you know, you're used to downloading replays of top notch players. So, yeah, we're going to have a Terran vs. Protoss today, and um, so far we only got a barracks and a, a probe, which is really doing okay harass here. You saw attacking this SCV and then waiting for its shields to recharge, and then doing this all over. And another SCV is f forced to be pulled off the line, so he doesn't lose more work or so. Yeah, this is committing two SCVs for once, and then a third one um, after a little while, just to ensure that... Uh <coughs> just to ensure that the barracks does go up in time and isn't uh, slowed and uh, the probe still inside Ruby's base scouting as much as possible and uh, it's quite a actually oh we have a second barracks okay so no reapers for now and I don't think we'll be seeing any reapers and uh, we have a cyber core so pretty standard build from the Protoss player but not from the Terran player I maybe maybe we'll, we'll see some uh, some marine pushes in the start, like some really insistent marine pushes, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting because there's no. Is there any zealot out? Any zealot? No, I don't think so. No, there is no, but one is coming out now. And uh, second gas going down for Huck and Tech Lab, I guess, here. Yep, so opting to get these two marines. Uh, scouting with the SCV, he knows that there isn't any zealot up yet. But uh, a stalker is also coming out right now, so um, Huck just chose to uh, to delay that. I guess his pylon is here just in case Reapers try to hop up here so you could see this in time. So he has some warning. Uh, interesting placing of the pylon. It's good to... Uh, yeah, I guess maybe another one would be coming down here, but it's good against Reapers to scout. So they don't really get to your mineral line and you just see them when they're there so you just get a glimpse in advance and then you have time to react and this probe getting taken out by the marauder and the marines have moved back and um, let's see what's gonna be happening over here this is another gateway so perhaps we're just gonna see some standard uh, four gate push but I heard good things about this game so I decided to cast it I was uh, looking up for something really worthwhile casting and um, I found this game um, Let's see, so concussive shield's almost done, and maybe stim packs are gonna go up after that. Still no second gas. Very intensive, uh, very intense mineral build here, and we can see the fast expansion going down because of that. But uh, I do have to say that this is a um, pretty sizable force over here, and might just be able to deal with these marauders and marines as they don't have stim pack and they don't have any upgrades. But more marines are coming out right now. He's using the excess minerals he has, and still no second gas down. This is quite interesting. I guess we're not uh, gonna see any tanks anytime soon because of um, because of this uh, marine uh, mineral heavy uh, build. And 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 let's see. Warp gate is almost done. And uh, we can take a look at the production tab. So Simpax is indeed coming up soon will be done and maybe we're gonna see a timing push or something there's no engineering bay down yet it's just a very fast expand and uh, that's nice and second guess to go down right now quite late very late actually and Huck is morphing these into gateways into warp gates I mean and robotics base so uh, 
he wants to maybe hide this robotics facility over here and uh, get the Colossus out without um, Drew be knowing about it because scans will probably go down here or here or perhaps a little bit further up here. But um, this one is pretty much hidden out of sight and uh, I mean I <coughs> I'm not exactly sure. This would probably get scouted. Oh, it's just a I guess it's just a preference thing, but I don't know. Really, maybe he just wanted this to be powered by two pylons. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, it's uh, perhaps I'm putting too much uh, importance into uh, into that into how much this matters. The building placement over here. But we're gonna see a pile on here. It's a proxy pile probably for uh, warping in uh, additional units to harass the mineral line here or something. And he does spot the weakened SCV there, and it doesn't go down. That was quite mean. Uh, that was quite mean. <laughs> that probe didn't really do what it wanted to do. And um, yeah, we see a pretty big move of forces here, and this is quite big. I mean, it's really big. Uh, this infantry, I don't know if it's going to be able to do that much. There is no thermal lens, and it's not coming in yet. So, um, it's mostly going to depend on how much damage this Colossus is going to be able to do with the help of uh, all those units. And this bun these bunkers are not going to be done, I think. Yeah. So, this is going to be a pretty big push over here. And let's see what happens. He has to push soon, though, before the bunkers are done. And, yeah, there we go. Stem is going up, and Colossus is doing a lot of damage. Indeed, but the army is moving back a few force fields over there and uh, Not doing as much damage as you would have wanted and that bunker is still up He has to be careful with his Colossus now so he doesn't lose it like that and He's pulling back over here, but and there's a few stalkers along <laughs> with this Colossus and these um, Sentries so he did stop mining here for a while and uh, the Huck uh, got a pretty late expansion. He decided to go for this four warp gate Colossus build. Pretty pretty aggressive build, I have to say. But um, I don't know if it's um, if it's really gonna be enough. Cause uh, yeah, I mean this has no is thermal lands coming out. No, not yet. He opted to get another Colossus. It's on the way. It's almost done. But um, Druby is gonna decide to move out. So if he does, then Huck is forced to pull back. Otherwise, I don't see how he can defend anything over here. And we're probably gonna see a clash here in the middle. And he, he Huck is really not in a good position. He gets flanked and slowed. And this is really good force fields there, though. But he lost a bunch of stalkers for free. And Druby took advantage of that moment over there and did the damage he wanted to do. But we have two colossus now, and this this is pretty bad for Druby, I guess. Yeah, very nice force fields. And uh, yep, Huck just uh, paid back for what happened before with his stalkers. And so this expansion is almost up, but um. It's um I don't I don't really know if uh I don't really know if uh the Huck is gonna have enough because uh the the um, what to call the block Vikings. The Vikings are coming out now and they're gonna snipe these colossus quite easily. Uh no tanks it's still but yeah, two medivacs coming out now as well. These units have proper upgrades right now, and uh, he does have a bunch of medivacs already, plus those vikings, so let's see what happens here, this is going to be an interesting battle. And a few force fields there, not doing that much, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is going to be com this is gonna come down to the force field usage, yep, and uh, those are pretty good, but um, he's being very careful with his colossus, and he's sniping the uh, vikings with his uh, stalkers, and that's what you really want to do. So the Colossus are doing quite a lot of damage over here, with the other units tanking in front. And they're taking quite important damage, I mean, um, these Colossus are doing insane damage. And uh, Huck is prob probably gonna be able to, I don't know, kill off the entire Ar Terran army. Not quite yet. Um, these, uh, this Viking actually did a lot of damage to that uh, Colossus over time. So. Um, yeah, but um, Huck has more th stuff coming out right now, although I have to say that these uh, four barracks plus these two starports are going to uh, replenish uh, Druby's army quite fast, not to mention that he has dual orbital command and he, he can abuse the mules quite a lot, and there we go, we see two more mules coming down.
But he needs more CVs there, and he needs to saturate this cast. So, uh, and also here, I, uh, Ruby has a quite uh, a nasty SCV situation right now. I think he could use a bunch more SCVs, and there we go, he's making a few SCVs. And here as well. So yeah, um, anyway, that fight pretty much going equal for both sides. A drop going down here, but uh, it's not going to be able to do anything. Maybe he's going to try the mineral line might happen he should try I there's nothing there really and there we go and four marauders gonna stem up and we have thermal lance almost done let's see if Huck spots this dropship fast enough to react to this drop and there we go yep such great reflexes I mean Huck has, has such great reflexes and let's see if he snipes this before this research is done no it, do it doesn't go down that would have been huge but nothing really happening over there um, let's see if he's going to suicide this dropship and the four marauders by dropping somewhere over here I, I think I think he's just gonna leave it there for a little while wait for things to calm down and then maybe try something but um yeah uh, quite a lot of vikings right now five vikings these are very 